back guys hope you're all doing great thanks for joining me today on my channel I really appreciate it today we're going to talk about palettes we're going to go through all of my eyeshadow palettes so if you want to know what's sitting right over here the stack this big then stay tuned okay guys I know there's a lot bigger but my goodness who needs who needs this much okay I'm gonna start off by saying I chose no um, like eyeshadow duos, things like that. It had to have more than like three eyeshadows in it for me to put it in as a palette. So we're gonna start off with something that I consider a palette, but it's the Melt Stacks because they come like this. So, this, so I figured this is like a palette, it's just done differently. This is by Melt Cosmetics. This is their Dark Matter Stack. So they're magnetic. I did a whole video about this. So it comes in the black and this Enigma, which I have on my crease right now. And then the shade um, Un Unseen and then the shade Blur, which Blur is fantastic. It's made for just that, to blur any edges off. So that's my Melt. The next one I had in my collection is from NARS. It's a collab with Stephen Klein. And it's just a little four eyeshadows from NARS. I don't reach for this as much. Um, a couple of these colors are very, very pretty though. Let me put them on. They're really nice. It just, I get, I get it lost sometimes. I wouldn't say it's my all time favorite. Palette. The next one is fairly new to my collection from Dose of Colors. This is the collab that Desi and Katie did with the four shades. I think these are beautiful. It's just very high maintenance. These two shades here require you to, all of them require you to use your finger. Not the biggest fan of that. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get that good blend. And the two of them, these two, um, you have to use with a little bit of water. So. Although it's pretty, I'm not sure I would get this one again, to be honest with you. A very well-loved palette. It's the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Looks like this. It's been out for a little over a year, and I adore this. I really love these colors over here. I use it quite often. As you can tell, my mirror is kind of broken off. Of Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This palette, blew out so fast I had to wait for the second launch of it and I finally did get it and I do use it but you know what the smell kind of bothers me and I you know me if you've been a um, subscriber of mine for any length of time you know I love smells but something about this is the wrong it's like got the wrong undertone for me I heard that the new um, peaches and cream smells a little better than this but it's not my favorite as far as smells go, but it is a very pretty palette. I think my favorite color is this green right here, which is called Bless Her Heart. I love that shade, so that's a great one. Kat Von D Shade in Light Eye Palette. Love this palette. All matte, neutral shades. There's like a neutral one, a cool, and a warm. Love it excellent palette. This palette here isn't my favorite, but it has special meaning because this is the first palette I ever purchased. It's by Smashbox and it's a double exposure palette. And why it's a double exposure is because you can use these wet or dry. I prefer them wet. Um, this color here is gorgeous. It is the prettiest midnight blue color. And then this um, light silver is pretty as well. It, it's a, it is a nice palette. It's just something I just don't reach for all that often. So I should probably do it more, but it, you can only imagine what those shades would look like wet, but that is my first palette I ever bought myself. I also have a really cute, I picked this up when you're going through Sephora and you're waiting to check out and you go through the lines of all the tempting items that would be similar for a kid of a candy store. Um, I went ahead and picked up this Too Faced. I think I'm the only person that doesn't own a Too Faced chocolate bar. I don't know why. I, I don't have anything against him. I, I love chocolate. I'm just not sure why I never picked up one. But So I went ahead and got this itty bitty guy. And I do use it quite a bit. I like it. It has the Chocolate Soleil bronzer in it and then the three and 
smells great and I do use that. Tart Tartlet, the first Tartlet that came out. Very, very pretty, all matte palette as well. Um, it's meant to go, um, technically you can go by rose and it's very soft, very, very nice all matte palette from Tarte. A more recent drugstore purchase is the NYX Perfect Filter. I did a video on NYX, um, all NYX products. This one reminded me a lot, I mentioned in my video, it reminded me a lot of the tones in the Subculture palette. And I thought with all the negativity of that palette, why not get these? And you get the similar idea and some similar colors. And I really like it. I did a really great look with that in my video. I'll link that up here. I have two Kylie um, Cosmetics palettes. This one was the first one I ever bought from her. This is the holiday palette from last year. Very pretty. I kind of forget to grab for this one actually. This one has this silver and this one is absolutely beautiful. Um, the blue as well. I usually use a little Fix Plus to make that a little more vibrant. Um, you know, it has some pretty colors in it. This one didn't get a lot of love on the internet, but I didn't mind it and I actually enjoyed it. So that's last year's holiday palette. Um, Kylie product that I did purchase is her birthday collection palette. This one was called the I Want It All. I did do a video um, of this one as well using this palette. This one has some face products and then the eyeshadows in it. Um, beautiful eyeshadows. These colors here remind me a lot of what's in Anastasia's palette. Really pretty tones. Very girly pink colors. And I do like this one a lot. And I don't grab for this one either. This highlighter is absolutely beautiful by the way. It's very pretty. Look at how pretty that is. So. Um, I don't mind some of her products. Some of them I think could be hit and miss, but so far I've enjoyed the two that I do have. One of my all-time favorite palettes is from Too Faced. This is a Stardust palette that they did in collab with Vegas Nay. This palette is very well loved. Absolutely beautiful. I Some of these tones, they're absolutely, they have like shifts to them. It's like a, they're absolutely beautiful. Let me do a couple of swatches. This one here is called Follow Me. So pretty. This one's called Pink Pearl. I'm not even sure if this is available anymore. I imagine it's probably not, but I will link it below if it is. Very pretty. So this is the Vegas Nace Stardust Palette. I'm not going to go too much into my Z palettes. I just wanted to show you. I'm going to do a whole video on this, but this is my Z palettes that I hold all my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in. So I will be doing a video just on that, but that's three palettes that I use that are singles. Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. These shadows are amazing. They have this like shift to them that are, it's like, reminds me of like a black light filter. Let me show you. I use these all the time on the inner corner in looks just to look at how beautiful those are. So pretty. I love this palette. Highly recommend it. That's the Kat Von D Alchemist. Next up, I've done a couple videos using this. It's the Morphe um, collab with Jaclyn Hill. Gorgeous palette. Use it all the time. Love it done a couple videos with it. I'll link below. And last, we're going to finish off with one of my all-time favorites, Juvia's Place. Oh my goodness, you guys. So the first Juvia's Place I ever got was this one. For one, the packaging alone is stunning. And then when you open it up, it's this fun, bright colored, mixed with some neutrals palette. It, I mean, oh my gosh, you guys gorgeous gorgeous colors like this does not get any better beautiful colors so what you can do is if you're not one that normally wears very bold tones like that you don't want anything too flashy do a very neutral eye and then just pick one of those colors to do a little pop 
under the eye would be beautiful. That would be a way to add some color without being too much if that's like not your thing. Me personally, you know, I'm all about it, but this palette is beautiful. Plus it has a lot of neutral tones as well that you can use. So you can totally, you know, do this in the crease, you know, maybe a little bit of a bronze in the thing, and then just do one of these pops just in the lower bottom half would be very pretty. So this is the Masquerade palette. The second one I purchased from them is the Magic palette. I did a really pretty eye look with this palette that I had put on my Instagram and I got a lot of love from it. It was so pretty, but this is another palette from them. Once again, the shades are phenomenal. Um, you know, the quality is amazing. If you haven't ever done Juvia's Place before, you know, look at that quality. You know, it's absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. And the price point, you can't beat it. It's very, very affordable. Uh, the customer service, I've always done really well with. I, I have nothing but great things to say about uh, Juvia's Place. So, one of my favorite favorite eyeshadow brands yeah. and the last one that I'm going to show you today is my newest one called the Zulu palette again beautiful packaging it's kind of got like a holographic shift to it and these are the colors of that one again if you find that so scary you can just do a little bit like not too long ago I did a really neutral eye and then I just put this color close to the lid and it just sent this bright pop of color it was so pretty I mean, look at that. So beautiful. Again, so much fun. It, they blend like a dream. They go on like a dream. They stay put. They're long lasting. Love, love my Juvia's place. So there you go, guys. That's the eyeshadow palettes I have so far. I'm sure it's going to keep growing. Let's be real. But I wanted to show you what I do have in my collection, why I have it, what I like about it colors, that kind of thing. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.